I don't know if y'all can see that, but my little fishies had some fry. What is up, beautiful people? TJ here with another episode of Palette Jack and Blogs. All right, so today I've got a action-packed day. Um, I already cleaned the garage out, so I'm gonna show you kind of what I did. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about what you get, especially if you're getting into liquidation palettes. Um, it's not always pretty sometimes, especially if you're doing it out of your garage um, or out of your house. It's not necessarily always the best situation. Um, so I actually was able to clean my garage up because I knew I was getting a shipment in today. And I've got a couple more shipments that, that's gonna be coming in. Um, sometime next week. So I want to make sure I had enough space to receive those shipments and I don't have the luxury of having a warehouse yet So uh, so then let me show you what we got All right, so these are um, all of the toys or not all the toys. This is about 30% of the toys that we got on Walmart palette y'all see that here in the upcoming palette jacking uh, unboxing video um, and then behind there is uh, I, Some of you all may have seen the post where I was talking about the 30 boxes of Target chef pools. Um, that is that palette right there. It actually didn't come on the palette. It actually came in 30 individual boxes, um, but I just put it on the palette that I had here. There's my old trusty palette jack. Cool. And that right there is just a bag of junk. All those bags are is stuff that we've accumulated. Um, boxes, bags, um, just everything. I try to salvage as much as I can and recycle as much as I can, but whatever I can, that's where it ends up here. And that stuff is gonna go to the landfill here in just a little bit. So um, if you are getting into liquidation pallets, you need to look at uh, how you're going to house your items or how you're gonna get rid of the stuff that you don't use, the junk. Also, um, if you are a pallet liquidator, then, let's write out here, um, you can, uh, you know, what do you do with these pallets? You know, you get a bunch of pallets. Um, so what we do is we have a listing on Facebook Marketplace um, and people want free pallets. So I put them out in front of our store um, or I put them over there on the edge of my, my road there and uh, people just come by and pick them up for free. Um, so I don't have to take them anywhere and dump them. Uh, people actually will come and purchase them. So that's cool. Uh, also, um, I tried to keep as many boxes as I can um, because you know of course when you're selling things you need boxes um, the ones that I can't salvage I will take them and recycle them um, we have a recycle place right down the road where I can recycle cardboard boxes um, so I'll take all these cardboard boxes recycle those I'm gonna come back to the house and I'm gonna get all this junk here take all that stuff to the uh, the city landfill I'll come back I'll film the rest of that. We'll talk about that lighting palette. Uh, and then we'll go over to the store, and I'm going to get the store cleaned up today because it's uh, atrocious. The store is not bad. It's, it's actually the um, it is the office in the back that y'all have seen on a couple of videos. So I'm going to get the office cleaned up. And I'm going to try to set up a new uh, photo-taking station. So that would be pretty cool. All right, so I got the boxes unloaded. So now I'm going to try to get all the bags loaded and get them off to the dumpster. All right, so now that I've got all of the bag trash bagged up, boxed up, put in the truck, I'm gonna take all this stuff over to the uh, dumpster. And I'm gonna go back to the store. We're gonna talk a little bit about what we got um, on the baby pallet, um, a breakdown of it. So here we go. All right, so I'm at the store. Today, I'm going to attack this office. Um, it's not as bad as it was the other day, but it's still not great. Oh God, I almost died. Um, so I'm gonna do something with all this stuff. I've got to get rid of, I've got the urge to purge. So everything must go. Um, so I'm not gonna bore y'all with that. This is gonna be a time lapse. Here we go. All 
All right, so I did a little bit of cleaning in here um, and some organizing. Um, my main thing I wanted to do was get the um, the big printer. As you can see, there you go. The main thing I want to get the big printer back in the office because it's been out in the store for so long and it's kind of aggravating when you're in here trying to list stuff and print stuff off. Even though we use a thermal printer, link in the description section below for the thermal printer. Um, but <laughs> Even though we use a thermal printer, we still have to print stuff off and it, it takes forever to have to print stuff off and then go out to the office or go out to the store uh, to get it. So I moved over here closer to the workstations. Normally we print stuff from April's uh, desktop computer. So I put the scale um, right here kind of closer. So you have the scale and then the trash can um, kind of right there close. So it should be a little bit easier um, to print stuff off and to ship stuff as well. Now over here, over on my desk, um, I still list things and stuff like that. So I'm trying to figure out a way, a better way to take photos. So what I'm thinking of this little new area here, I'm going to make a, uh, a photo booth with the light and uh, a little table and something to take some pictures on. So let's go do that real quick. Damn. So what do you all think of the new photo station? So looking in the office, this is kind of what it looks like. Still got plenty of room to do everything. That B-roll sequence was courtesy of my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. You're into that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's okay. I got the ring light. Um, we can definitely move that ring light out the way if we need to. And then um, we can photograph our stuff. We This will allow us to kind of photograph larger items, larger boxes and, and stuff like that. So it didn't take me too long to make it. I'm not really like a craft, craftsman, but uh, <laughs> I think I did okay for me thinking about it like, you know, an hour ago and then making it. All right, so here's what y'all wanted uh, from this video. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the baby stuff and then we'll jump into the computer and I'll show you the actual uh, numbers. Get out of the way, vacuum. All right, so as you can see from the shelf, all the baby stuff used to be on this shelf, but we've sold quite a bit of the larger, um, you know, bassinets and car seats and different things like that. So I'm gonna go over what we got left um, and then we'll jump to the computer and I'll show you the actual numbers of what we sold and what we think that we can make from this palette. Now we've had this palette for what, two weeks or so? Um, so these are our sales after two weeks. Um, it's going to be the real sales that we had with the real numbers. Um, so the big items that we got left is the two uh, Pargo, Peg, Perigo, whatever they're called, um, bassinets. Those go for 149 a piece. Um, so we're going to, you know, of course, lower the price to a point to where we can get those sold. Um, we sold one of these. I need to pull it, but one of these snoozers. So we got three of these. These go for about $49 um, a piece. We sold the one for $49. Um, and I'll get that one packaged up. Um, we still have the pink diaper pail. Um, we've also got one of these Chico Poly Street. Um, what is that? A, uh, you know what I'm talking about. High chair. <laughs> God, my brain is gone. Um, we got one of those. They actually got two of those. We've got another one over here. Um, this one was not in the factory box. Um, so it's got all the parts and it works. So I'll have to just pull that out, take a picture of it. Probably sell that on Facebook Marketplace. It doesn't, it's not inside the factory box. But this one is inside the back factory box and it is uh, actually brand new. So that goes for about 150 bucks as well. Um, that one we may get, you know, $75, $65 for it. We'll probably list it for 75, hoping to get at least 65 for it. Um, and then we've also got a Bugaboo B bassinet. That one goes for $163. Like I said, we'll lower the prices 
on these things just to make the just to get them out get them out the door get to the next thing uh then we've got that baby jogger um that's about 160 bucks as well so we've got a lot of 150 160 buck items left uh, on top of what we've already sold we've also got a bunch of these um wee baby stella um doll thing these have actually been doing very well on makari um, we've also so sold some on ebay um so those are doing well uh, we've sold some of these mag former um i think it's a puzzle i believe that's what that is we sold this so i need to pull that but we did sell that um on ebay and then we've got a couple of these motorola um smart monitoring systems um i've got those listed in store for 10 bucks so we hadn't sold any of those yet but i'm assuming when we open tomorrow we'll sell uh, a lot of these and a lot of these picture frames we've sold some of the picture frames uh in the store when i was open last week um we've also got this big whatever that thing is down there at the bottom that thing goes for like i don't know a hundred dollars but we're probably not gonna sell it for that much we'll probably sell it for around 60 um dollars we've also got a uh, Cybex base and um, we've got that listed as well so hopefully we can get rid of that um, we've got three of these Bumbo bum, Bumbo Bumbo seats um, so it's just like a little a multi seat is what they call it so these go for like $70 this one is new we have two more of those they're broken at the bottom um, there wasn't a lot of broken things in this palette um, that was probably one of the, the only things that was really actually like cracked or broken. Um, but we do have this pile of um, stuff for the uh, bed. And that stuff is, we've got to go through. We're going to pull it out make sure it's not missing pieces. If, if it is missing pieces, then we'll have to list it for a lot less because somebody may need, you know, just the, the cover that goes around the bassinet or around the crib and not necessarily the sheets and all that stuff. So we're going to get all this stuff listed. It's going to take a, time, a little bit of time to get that processed. Um, we've got some of these plushies, um, some really cute Pooh Bear uh, plushies, and we've got some other little plushies in here. Um, I put that together. I need to put some batteries in it to see if it works, um, but it had all the pieces in it. Um, I just need to make sure that it works. That's the package for it. Uh, and then we've got um, a little mobile thing that goes on top of the uh, the bassinet. We've got one more case of Pampers. We sold the other case of Pampers on Macari already. Um, we've got this Philip Advent. We've got two of these. Actually, we've only got one of these because we sold one. I hadn't pulled it and posted that, or I have not shipped that yet. Um, we got a couple of these weird cuddle pillows. That's what I call them because it's like you're supposed to cuddle with them based on the picture. But we got a bunch of those. Um, I don't think we have those listed yet. Um, and then we've also got this stuff has not been tested and not listed. So it's not that much stuff that I got left uh, to list. But we've got um, just a few little odds and ends. And all that stuff is it's good. That, that right there, the box is damaged. It's just a baby a bottle warmer. Dr. Brown's bottle warmer and the box is like a little damaged, but it's new in there. So um, I just need to get that listed and I believe it will sell. Um, we had a bunch of these picture frames, like those picture frames right there. And those actually sold the very first day I put them in the store, um, which was great. They all sold except that one next to the lady called back and she wanted to come the next day to get the other ones, but we weren't open. Um, so that's pretty much all of the baby stuff that's not listed or has been listed and yeah so let's jump into the computer and see the actual numbers of uh what we think we're gonna make all right so we are looking at the war on retail um baby palette even though it says general merchandise it ain't right <laughs> it's the uh it's actually the baby palette we paid 1500 dollars for um it had 147 units that's actually light it's more units than that really yeah um we just don't have all of them in here I mean, there. I, like, I, I count it for all of them. You sell these ones. Yeah, <laughs> we literally okay. <laughs> <laughs> all this stuff right here is stuff. Like there's curtains, there's bed shams for baby beds. There's yeah. all kind of stuff. Yeah. And we just we hadn't gotten through that stuff, but I know that we got it because I counted every one of these items. Right. So that this is the true number of items that we have is 147 items. So our cost per unit is ten dollars and twenty cents um, per item. Um, now, if you look over here at our handy dandy little Excel spreadsheet, it shows that our break even is 1500 and our potential profit is $3,535. Right. So 
that's pretty good. I mean, that's almost three times. Yeah. <laughs> and if you take a look at our actual pro uh, profit, you'll see that we're almost at our break even. So I think we're doing pretty good seeing that we just started listing these items maybe last week. Yeah, right. And I actually just listed like these pop up bassinets. I forgot about those. Um, I got those finally listed. So that's $300 right there. If we right. sold both of those, um, there's another $150. Um, bassinet here. There is that baby jogger pram. I think somebody said somebody in the comment section um, that they had one of those and they sold for like $200. Mm -hmm. um, we've also got two of these Chico high chairs. One of them is brand new. The other one is open box. So one of them's 119, one of them's 100. That's how much we, um, we've we got them listed for. So, and then there's these two baby movement monitors. We actually just sold one yesterday. Or today, I don't know which day it was. Um, but we got two more of those. That's one hundred twenty dollars. And then those, actually, those um, bed sets are expensive. I know, I saw. Them. Yeah, so it's just a lot. Yeah, yeah, we got to pull them out and we'll look and see, you know, what they're going to do. So that is not even included into. So I'm actually thinking what I had said in my mind, looking at the rest of the stuff that we don't have on this spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. I think we got at least another eight hundred to a thousand dollars worth see, of, of stuff. So. I'm just going to say conservatively, I'm going to say about $4,200 um, is is what we should make from this palette. Yeah. If we if we were to sell everything that we got, about $4,200, which is, pretty, like I said, that's pretty good. And we've already almost broke even. So yeah. we're, on, we're on, almost on the profit trail. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, if, if y'all want to uh, have this Excel spreadsheet, I'll put a link to it in the description section below um, and you can download. It won't look like this. I mean, it will look like this, but it won't have the information in it. You have to make up your own information. Um, but the cool thing about the spreadsheet is so I tried to uh, it evolves as we we evolve. <laughs> so like in, in some of the other ones, or some of the later videos you'll see, um, I have some different things over here. I kind of tailor it to whatever I need it to. So I kind of made it to where you can tailor it to right, whatever you need. Like the listed. Yeah. Like that, we just added that listed section because we couldn't keep up with what was being listed, right? What had been listed mm -hmm. and what hadn't been listed, so right. we had to add that on there so we'll know, okay, this is listed mm -hmm. and this is not listed. Yep, and then look at this right here. You see, this is red. Supposedly, if I go in here and put like, let's just say we made if we made break even, so if we made $500 on that, boom, it turns green. Yep, <laughs> so, so you it, know that you're in the profit zone now. Yep. Yep, and then you can go through, and of course, when we get to profit zone, zone, that's when we start slashing prices to get the stuff out of there, so we can move exactly. on to the next, exactly the next thing. So, yeah, um, if you got any questions, put them down in the comment section. So that is going to be it for today, guys. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also, hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever we release new videos. We will see you guys on the next one. Peace.